Hey scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. I'm your student teacher, Empress Shona. So today is Thursday, July 27, and I just wanted to do this quick Berea gluten-free pasta review, okay? It's actually spaghetti, and it is made with corn and rice. If you are looking at the screen, you can see it says that right on the front of the box. I've actually used this spaghetti pasta by Berea multiple times now, and I must say, I really like it. I really, really like it. So um, I'm going to cook this from start to finish because my children are having spaghetti for dinner tonight, and um, you can see for yourself. So scholars, obviously here we have a pot of boiling water, okay? Um, <laughs> should be pretty obvious. I'm sure everybody knows how to boil water, but maybe not. So basically you put water in a pan and turn on the fire, okay? And that's how that's gonna work. And then I always add oil to my water when I'm doing pasta, okay? And so I added this life oil. It's canola oil. Okay, so that's what I do. Um, I know some people don't. I'm always appalled when I'm served any type of pasta and it's sticking together. <laughs> I'm always like, uh-uh, so they really should have added some oil to that. Um, if I see something that gives me the pasta results um, that I like without adding the oil, if there's a way or if there's a technique, let me know in the comments. And once I find that, I will definitely, you know, change the way I do it, but right now, this is how I know to keep the uh, pasta from sticking together, okay? Okay guys, so we are ready to add the pasta. I wanted to let you know that I also added salt to my water as well, okay? So, also wanted to show you that this pasta is a little bit more translucent. Like you can sort of see through it. And, and uh, it's, that's not really picking up that great, but you can almost see through the pasta. You cannot, but it has like a translucence, I should say, to it that regular pasta does not have, okay? So I have broken the pasta. I happen to like my spaghetti noodles long, but when you're dealing with children, I find that it makes most sense to just break it. And so I did that, and some people like their spaghetti uh, broken in half anyway. So I did that, and now um, we are going to let it do its thing. And according to the package, it needs to cook for, it needs to cook for 10 minutes, okay? So we are gonna let this cook for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer, because a lot of times I do other things, um, and if not, you know, the pasta may overcook and nobody wants extra soft noodles. And I do believe these noodles will get softer, faster than um, regular noodles. So we're going for al dente. Okay, scholars, so as you hear, the timer is now going off. It's been about 10 minutes and 10 seconds. <laughs> it took me a second to, or two or three or 10 to come from where I was into my kitchen, so I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, and turn the fire off. I'm going to immediately drain these noodles because I do not want them to get any um, softer than what they already are, okay? Okay, scholars, so as you can see, the noodles are ready, they're drained, and I'm just gonna touch them so that you can see the texture, okay? Um, I'm gonna pull this apart, these are clean hands, okay, so that you can see, you know, how easy it is to pull apart. Not that easy, which is what you want, because you want a little bit that, okay? So, um, if I can bring it up and show a little bit more of the texture, Looks like a regular spaghetti noodle. And it tastes great. 
Tastes great. I, I like to add salt to my water. It's just It just really brings out the flavor in the pasta, okay? So that's pretty much it in regard to the pasta itself. I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, perhaps some of you guys didn't even know that this gluten-free Berea pasta existed. Um, but it does, and it is really tasty. Perhaps a couple of you have been on the fence about buying it because you don't know how it would taste, but it's actually really, really tasty. Um, and we do not have gluten sensitivities that I know of uh, here. I actually just really do like the texture and consistency of this pasta so much that when my husband goes out, he does the main grocery shopping in the house. Um, I told him, hey, pick that up again. I really liked it. So just so that you guys know, um, my children do not like anything but sauce on their spaghetti. I know it's a little boring, but that's all they like, sauce and cheese, either Parmesan or sometimes just shredded cheddar. So um, it's really not anything fancy. I may show you, um, you know, completed version of their plate, but it really is not fancy. And so, um, you know, you just start them, you meet them where they are because as a parent, you want them to eat. You just want them to eat. And you buy the ingredients that are as healthy as possible, and then you um, add things to their palate so that they can develop, you know, good taste or um, acquired taste uh, as you go along. So um, this is where it is right now with the spaghetti. It's not going to be a big deal. I may show you some pictures. But the main point was I wanted you to know that the Berea gluten-free pasta is really, really yummy. And I've been using it exclusively for the kids um, ever since I've been trying it. Okay? So give it a try. I am not being paid by Berea. I just like it. And so I'm sharing. Okay? Uh -huh. So with that being said, I want to let you know, make sure that you subscribe. I have a little one here who wants my attention, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. But make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment, and know that I am coming at you with the joy that gives me... All right. Abundant love, beloveds.